Time for another follow along with me, Miss B. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and hit the notification bell for more videos. We are on week three of quarter two, Elements of Art. This week we'll be exploring shape. Supplies we'll need this week are white paper and a pencil. We will need crayons or color pencils for the coloring portion of this project. So as we discussed earlier, shapes can be organic or geometric, and we're gonna use both. So I'm gonna start off with an apple shape first. So I'm roughly sketching out the outline of an apple shape. If you have an apple at home, it would be great to put that in front of you and draw from what you see. The next shape I'm going to make is a pear shape. So if you remember, pears are smaller towards the top and they gradually get bigger towards the bottom. Now you can place these shapes anywhere on your paper. I decided to put them side by side toward the middle. Next, you're gonna take your hand and again, place it anywhere on the paper that you'd like and trace your hand. Your hand is an organic shape. Next, we're gonna find some things we may have in our desk or around the classroom or even our house. And we're gonna to start to trace those shapes as well. So I'm gonna start by tracing the handle of these scissors. Most of you do have scissors at school, so you can take those out and trace the handle. Again, place it anywhere on your paper that you'd like. Next, I'm gonna take out my crayon box and I am going to trace the bottom half of that making a geometric shape on the paper. I'm actually gonna trace it two different times. So next, I'm gonna take out my ruler and I'm going to make some straight lines or long rectangles. Next, I found something that was circle shaped and I'm going to trace that. I'm actually gonna trace it twice maybe three times so you can trace your hand twice you can trace the scissors two or three times you don't have to trace it just once or in the same place that I'm tracing mine this design is completely up to you the more you have to trace the better this project will turn out So I actually found my glue stick and I'm going to trace the cap so that I have some smaller circles. You can always take the cap off, it would be a lot easier to trace. And I'm going to trace it about three or four times. Now I can also lay the glue stick down and trace that shape as well. 
Again, you can do this once, twice, three times, however many times you'd like. So I've taken a look at my paper and it looks like I have enough shapes and I'm satisfied with what I've drawn. So I'm going to take a black crayon. You can also use a black marker. And I'm going to trace every line on the paper. This is gonna help us find those shapes when we start to color in this project. So now that everything has been traced, I'm going to take my colored pencils and I'm going to start to fill in the shapes that I've made. I'm not looking at the large shape I've drawn. I'm looking at the smaller shapes that have been created with the lines on the paper. So when we're coloring, we want to stay within the lines that have been created. So with this light green shape here, you'll notice I've stopped where the line has gone through the handle of the scissors. Same with this circle here. And this shape right here. Keeping inside of the lines we've created. I found it much easier to choose one color and randomly find shapes to color in with that particular color. Then move on to a second color. So I finished with the second color, moving on to my third color. Again, randomly choosing which shapes I'm going to color in as I go and making sure I'm staying between my new lines.
so I am going to speed this up quite a bit. Please take your time while coloring. I would just like you to be able to see the ending result before class is over. So I'm just finishing up my project here. We started with an apple and a pear shape. We traced a bunch of geometric shapes and we were able to create these really cool designs with our color. And you'll see we have geometric and organic shapes. Don't forget to submit your assignment on Schoology. If you have any questions, send me a message on Schoology. Click that like button and have a nice day.